The tents, the flags, the overall look of a military encampment designed to make veterans living on the streets feel at home, all of that is back for Stand Down 2022. The Stand Down is organized by Veterans Village of San Diego, CEO Akila Templeton. Stand Down historically has been about, you know, not just receiving the services, um, it's about community. Uh, it's a transformative experience. It's meant to be a transformative experience. Roughly 200 vets had come to stand down by Friday morning. They hoped 500 will arrive by the end of the weekend, down from previous years. We also had a larger population of uh, homeless veterans, and so this year we saw a decrease in veteran homelessness of 30 percent. That is significant. Templeton says finding a permanent housing for veterans is a growing part of the mission for Veterans Village San Diego, though Stand Down remains relevant. Post-Vietnam veteran Johnny Bird says homeless veterans gravitate to Stand Down. They won't go into a lot of other services, but when the Stand Down, they tend, to, they tend to, to gravitate over this way. They tend to come in because they know that, you know, whether it's, it's, just, it's no questions asked. The San Diego Homeless Court has been at stand down almost since the event began in 1988. Helping people clear away minor violations is still one of the most popular elements of the event. Doreen Gary is the wife of a vet who was a longtime volunteer at stand down before he died. Because I was afraid to go into the court system for, I was afraid I'd be arrested for a warrant or something. So, um, and then it, to what to what avail? I mean, to what, can I tell them? I mean, I, I just get 700 and something from Social Security, so it's like, it's hard. Stand Down continues through Sunday at Roosevelt Middle School, just north of Balboa Park. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.